We had an ongoing project where we had been serving a local distributor that we had installed seven homes with our interlocking stack stone panel system, and we're just waiting on the final measurements for the eighth. I hadn't yet received the measurements, so I called him up, and he apologized for not getting me the measurements as he had received an unbelievable offer from a new startup company that the developer just couldn't turn away from. The, the new company was uh, just appointed as a distributor of Nextone polyurethane foam stone panels and an offer to developer free installation if he just paid the purchase price of the foam panels. So we lost the job and, and any other job thereafter because of that. So I thought, bummer, but you know, six months later, I got a call from the developer asking me to come bid another house in the same project. When I got there, I found that the new company had only installed one house with the foam panels, and the house uh, didn't had sold yet, uh, just had no offers on it. And I think that was because the five houses that surrounded the foam panel house had our stack stone system on them. And the guy gets an offer uh, from a couple that's willing to purchase the house if he'll remove the foam panels for our interlocking cementaceous stack stone system. So this video is showing me taking it off and putting our system on. And, you know, from there on after, we had a gravy train. All right, we're here in Lincoln City, and uh, we had the video of the stack stone that you had seen us do the three model homes. Well, they, they were offered a, a product called Nextone from a distributor in Portland, and it was a lot less in cost. Now, they put this on the house. We lost the opportunity to sell them the rock, and uh, this house has been on the market for about six months. Uh, a, a customer came forth and said, hey, we'll take your house, but you got to put the rock like what's on each side of the house next door to us. Because on both sides of this house, there is the R stone, the, the stack stone, the, the cementaceous, not the foam. This is a urethane foam, and if you look at the coloring on it, it's very monotone. Each color of block is either brown, yellow, or a tannish, or, a, or a, a, there's two browns. There's a light brown and a dark brown, and then there's the tan. That's it. In our process, we use many different colors, and the stone looks more realistic. Not to mention that they have not a system... The way they address their inside and outside corners is with trim, and it's just inferior in every way. When the pop, when the customer says, you take this rock off and put the rock like it's on either side of the house, that speaks volume to me. And we're here today to take it off, and we're going to put our rock in place of it. In fact, we're putting our new Stackstone 04 system on, which unlike the previous system, it comes ready stained. There is no need to cut or to fabricate corners or mud the seams or anything like that, it just installs by screwing it to the wall. This installation should take no more than about an hour and a half. So this is a, a revolution in, in the stone going on houses. It just makes it quick and easy and you'll see it as we go forth. This video clip sees us dry fitting the custom made interlocking panels together on the shop floor to make sure that we've met the measurements taken from the house on site. The staining in the ceiling still needs to happen next. I don't recall the height of the panel assembly on the house, but the sloped front entryway required us to fabricate this zero to five inch slope panel to level the assembly of panels on the house. In this clip, you can see that we've installed hangers to support the panel installation along the landscaping areas of the house. We suspended the panel two inches below the floor of the house. In this clip, we've installed the five inch starter row of panels and the inside corner that you see there. I now recall the height of the stone of this project. The starter row was five inches in height. The panel that's laying on the right is 36 inches in height and the ledge cap that we're going to put on to finish is two and three quarters giving us a total height of 43 and three quarter inches to meet the pre-installed siding that was above when we came so this is the beauty of this system is we can literally create all dimensions by custom casting the panels to an eighth inch increment we can control the height length and width of any installation so it's it's a very unique system in that regard 
Okay, in this clip, we've just installed another panel on the left and then the outside corner. And Skyler is fastening the last panel on this run. And Sheck is laying out the ledge caps to bring this run to its completion. In this clip, the guys are installing the last two panels on this run. Then they'll place the ledge caps on top that they'll countersink and pre-pilot hole drill to fasten the caps down with screws that then get covered with our grout mixture. Well, that'll bring this project to its completion. I want to thank you for taking your time to watch this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks again. You all have a great day. Bye.